Hello friends, my name is Prasad and welcome back to Adda Desi. In today's episode of University Life, we are going to talk about the Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta. If you are considering options to study abroad in USA, this is one of the top universities to explore. But before we move forward, let me get done with my usual request. If you like the work we do, then please consider subscribing to our channel. This is completely free for you guys, but it will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Also, subscribers can comment below which university they want me to cover next and I will surely make a video on that. Now that's aside, let's start with the application requirements. There are total 6 application requirements in Georgia Tech. First, an online application that cost around $105. Second, academic transcripts. Third, statement of purpose. Fourth, three letter of recommendation. Fifth, a GRE score. And sixth, English language proficiency test that is your IELTS, TOEFL or PT score. Minimum English score requirements are as follows. IELTS 7.5, TOEFL 100. The average profile score for a computer science admit are as follows. GRE 323, TOEFL 109, IELTS 8. The Georgia Institute of Technology has an acceptance rate of 17.1%. Next, let's talk about graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. I'll take a computer science course as an example to talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. If you need specifics about your program, you can comment below and I will try to reply to that. To complete graduation, one needs to complete a minimum of 30 course credits. This can take at least 18 month, months to 24 months. Total tuition fees to complete this course for an in-state student would be around $20,610 $20, and for an out-of-state or interested student, it would be around $36,500. There are additional fees such as health insurance, campus and other service fees which may cost around $2,000 more. One thing to note here is that this is just an estimate and tuition fees keeps on changing each semester. Next, let's check out the housing cost. But before that, if you haven't already liked our video, then please smash that like button. Off-campus housing offers affordable options, so many graduate students prefer off-campus housing. You can visit our website addadesi.com and find many such off-campus housing options. The average rent for an entire two-bed, two-bath apartment could start around $1,300 and go up to $1,800. And the average rent for per person is around $700 to $900 per month. Average monthly utility bill is around 120 to $140 per person. You can also join a special Facebook housing group for Georgia's Institute of Technology and connect with other interested students. The link is in the description below. Next, let's talk about transportation. This Stinger is Georgia Tech's transit system and is open to students. Students can also use public transit bus for off-campus transportation using the student pass. The nearest international airport to the university would be Atlanta International Airport, which is around 12 miles from the university. Next, let's talk about on-campus jobs. Georgia Tech has an online job portal for on-campus job applications. You can apply directly in the portal using your resume even before you start the semester. Interested students can work 20 hours per week during fall and spring semesters and more than 20 hours during vacation periods. Average pay at this university could be around $11 to $15 per hour. Pursuing a master's degree at Georgia Tech offers many advantages, particularly for the students in STEM fields, but also it has some potential drawbacks for international students, considering options to study abroad. Let's start with the pros first. First, high academic reputation. Georgia Tech consistently ranks among the top public universities in the US, especially for engineering, computer science, and technology. The institution's program in these areas are internationally recognized, making it a strong choice for students pursuing to study abroad in USA. Second, location and strong industry connection. Located in Atlanta, Georgia Tech has connections with major corporations and startups. 
especially in technology, finance, and engineering sectors. Students benefit from a strong network, co-op programs, and internship opportunities, which can lead to full-time employment post-graduation. Third, STEM focus and resources. Georgia Tech is known for its commitment to STEM disciplines with dedicated labs, research funding, and expert faculty. Students benefit from resources and mentorship aimed at STEM innovation. Fourth, affordability. As a public university, considering its location for a major metro like Atlanta, Georgia Tech offers lower tuition rates than many private institutions with similar academic reputation, which makes it a more, most cost-effective uh, cost option for students. On the other hand, there are some cons too. They are as follows. First, intense academic pressure. Georgia Tech's program, particularly engineer, engineering and computer science, are known to be challenging. The rigorous workload can be demanding, which may be a drawback for students seeking a less intense academic experience. The high standards mean that students face intense competition, which may be stressful for some. Second, rising living cost. While Atlanta is a relatively affordable compared to other major US cities, the cost of living has been rising, especially for housing. This can add to the overall expense for international students on a tight budget. Third, traffic and commute. Atlanta is known for its traffic congestions, which can be a downside for students needing to, com needing to compute off, uh, commute off campus. While the city has a public transportation options, they are limited compared to cities like Chicago or New York. Georgia Tech is an excellent choice for students seeking high quality STEM programs, significant research opportunities and other strong industry connections. The campus offers a vibrant and diverse community, making it an appealing option for those considering to study abroad in USA. However, students should weigh the competitive academic environment, potential living expenses and climate before making any decision. Remember that individual experiences can vary. So it's a good idea to reach out to current or alumni students to get more detailed understanding of what to expect. At the end, as always, I would like to wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. Please like, subscribe and comment to our channel. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram using the link in the description below. Thank you.